Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to waterproof the stock servo that comes with your HPI Venture. Now, it's, uh, it's a water-resistant servo already, but what we're going to do is basically just pack grease all around the outside of the servo, um, uh, the screw holes, the joins, and the wires, and uh, just make the, basically make it uh, fully waterproof, or as much as it possibly can be. So what we're going to have to do first is remove a couple of the braces at the front of the chassis and that needs a two mil chassis, uh, two mil hex wrench. So this is, uh, I think this is gonna be the quickest way to get the chassis out because it is connected, uh, it is mounted directly into the servo, uh, in the chassis, mounted into the chassis, and um, there's uh, quite a f uh, few screws holding it in place. So I think it's just going to be these three that I'm taking out now, the two holding on the panhard bar, and one on the opposite side at the front of the chassis. So there we go. Make sure we set that screw aside and, yep, the flathead screws are on the panhard uh, brace. Okay, so now we can remove the front bumper and now we can get at those four screws. There's two here and two there, which you might not be able to see. And those are holding on the um, the chas the uh, the servo. First, I'm going to take off the the servo horn, or servo link that's attached to the uh, servo horn. Okay, and that is a button. I'm just going to screw that back in place just with a couple of threads so I know where it goes. I'm terrible at losing track of where various screws go. So now I'm just getting the actual four servo mounting screws. Of course, this is also um, a good way, basically showing you how to swap out your servo. So if you have a, another, say, stronger servo or one that's waterproof from the factory, um, then here's how you do it. So we've got the first two off, and now we're just going to get at those other two. So the stock servo that comes in the Venture FJ is uh, the HPI SS20WR, which WR means water resistant. Um, so it's, it's a good servo already, obviously it could be better, I suppose, if you are a, you know, consider yourself a pro, um, or, you know, a very experienced, uh, crawler. I'm just taking out the, uh, because the, the servo lead is going into the receiver box, just going to take out the all the servo wires so just these three small screws that hold the uh, the top of the box in place there we go and then we can actually we actually don't have to unplug it okay so we'll just leave it in place that's fine okay so what we've got here is another two mil screw holding the servo horn on. And we'll just try to keep that centered. I don't want to have to fiddle around with the steering trim very much once I get this going. And so basically it's just going to let me get at the at the actual servo horn itself. Okay, so here we go. It is a plastic output shaft. And that's fine. Now, this is the standard servo of a lot of HPI kits actually. Um, and it's a fine servo for the Venture. Um, the Venture videos that have been in all the previews uh, up until the release of the Venture 
um, have been using this servo uh, going through water and all sorts of stuff. So it's a fine servo, but a lot of people want to uh, upgrade anyway, you know, even though it's a basically brand new kit. So, you know, more power to you if you want to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm putting grease around the output shaft. Grease on all the screw heads. And then where these joins are, I'm going to put grease on there as well. So it's going to be quite a messy operation. Um, but it's going to ensure that no or very, the tiniest amount of water is going to get in. So hopefully none, obviously. But uh, this is not a guaranteed operation, but uh, it will highly increase the odds, greatly increase the odds, highly increase, greatly increase the odds of uh, you not having any problems with water. So there we go. That's the screw heads and the wires. And now this upper join, just work it in. So this is just uh, a bit of extra insurance um, if you're just waiting to upgrade completely to uh, a, a factory waterproof servo. So there we go. That's uh, It's now um, as waterproof as you're going to get it. And now I'm just going to uh, reinstall everything. Uh, there we are. Um, it, it's not pretty, but it'll work. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, uh, don't forget to ask down below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Um, so yeah, that is it. Um, hopefully you found that uh, interesting and um, check out the rest of the playlist. There's plenty more where this comes from. Uh, including waterproofing or greasing your axles, your transfer case, your transmission, and more. So, um, until the next video, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.